22 years later, after being devastated by genocide, Rwanda continues to make difficult choices as the nation attempts to recover and move on from the horrors of its recent past. A key focus of those efforts has centered on the role of women. During a recent visit to the Wilson Center, government spokesperson and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation, Louise Mushi Kiwabo spoke with Africa Program Director Mande Muyangwa about her country's long road back. Their discussion provides the focus for this edition of Rewind. As we all know, in 1994, Rwanda was engulfed in a horrific genocide in which an estimated 800,000 people, or 10% of the population, was killed. That genocide is etched in our memories for a number of reasons, particularly its brutality and sheer devastation, both seen and unseen, as well as for the failures of the international community to intervene to stop the genocide. In the aftermath of the genocide, a key question was how does a country cope at the individual and collective levels with the trauma of genocide? And how do you rebuild a country after such, after such wide scale and deep devastation? In the last 22 years, Rwanda has had to make extremely difficult choices, uh, especially right after the genocide. Choices that um, were um, made because there was no alternative <coughs> and because the country had to move on and move forward. Uh, but these choices, most of them, turned out to be very good choices uh, for us uh, as a country. And we've learned a few things along the way. Reconciliation, especially after genocide, is a very difficult proposition. And so sometimes when we look at Rwanda 22 years later, uh, we forget that we were basically a broken nation that would have to find a way to rebuild itself and to sustain um, itself and, and create a future for, for its people. Politically, um, Dr. Monde mentioned uh, the, the advancement of women in Rwanda. We wanted from the beginning a country that gives women their right value. President Kagame often says that leaving aside more than half of your population is not smart politics. So that was the case, but it was also the recognition that Rwandans had of the importance of um, <coughs> women in our society. And here I must say in, in a very selfish way that women have contributed a lot to the socio-economic transformation of the country. Across our villages, uh, very hardworking women, women uh, participating in uh, agriculture, uh, participating in creating a market, participating in um, education, in nutrition uh, of their children, participating in the protection of our environment. Rwanda is a very environment conscious country. Um, so we could see after um, five, six, seven years <coughs> that we were on the right path. I look at uh, Washington is a close friend of Kigali and yet Washington officials have criticized the referendum President Obama has sp spoken in Addis against leaders staying too long. Um, the Assistant Secretary has uh, testified that Rwanda is indeed meddling in Burundi. And then there have been charges that critics of, the admin of your government have been threatened outside the country. So my question is, why would your friends say that? It's not coming from me, it's coming from friends like Washington, the UK, and The Economist. So if you can address their motivation for saying such things, but thank you again. If Washington thinks the constitutional uh, changes in Rwanda and the referendum um, were not democratic or are not the way to go, I mean, we feel bad about it, but that's our choice. Um, so, you know, in any relationship, you, you, you disagree sometimes. Sometimes you spend, you know, several weeks without talking to one another. It happens everywhere. Uh, but eventually, you know, you get to, to, to sit and discuss these issues. 
these are very critical decisions for Rwanda that, um, you know, the way Rwandans want their future to be, who they want to be led by, is not something we would outsource, even to our best friends. So we really understand and we respect the views of our friends, uh, but this is, uh, this is private property uh, as far as we're concerned. For more on this and other related topics, visit wilsoncenter.org. Click the Research tab and search under the Africa program.